Hello everyone, today's tech tip, we're gonna be showing you how to use a multimeter. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use a multimeter, but today we're gonna to focus on a couple different areas. One of which is we're gonna be reading the DCR output of our pickups. And there's a couple reasons why you'd wanna do that. One of which is just troubleshooting the pickup. So if you're experiencing, let's say, no output or even low output, uh, reading the DCR can give you an indication if you have a broken coil. Another great use of the multimeter is to um, test the output if you're trying to match up pickups. So if you have several pickups lying around and you're um, not sure what the output of those pickups are, you can hook them up to a multimeter and get an idea of which pickups could be uh, paired up nicely, let's say for the bridge or the neck position. Another thing we're going to take a look at today is testing the grounding in your guitar. So if you're experiencing some buzzing or some noises coming out of your guitar, uh, the multimeter is a great tool to be able to isolate where the grounding issue could be in your harness and electronics of the guitar. So uh, we're also going to check out some readings on potentiometers, how to do that to see if the potentiometer is working correctly. We can also get a reading on a resistor. So if you want to do like a treble bleed and you're not sure what the value of a resistor that you have, you can hook up the multimeter and that'll give you um, a reading of what the, what the resistor is. As you can see here, we have a couple different types of multimeters. The Fluke is something that we use on the production floor and it has some some nice features like it has an auto range on it. The one on the right is your kind of your typical manual multimeter and either one will work just fine for today's application. Regardless of which one you have, what you want to make sure that you're using ohms mode as well as setting the range correctly. So if we're going to be measuring pickups, you want to make sure that the range is set to 20K. If you're measuring, let's say, a potentiometer, that range has to be set to a, a little bit higher, like in the 2000. Uh, so just be aware of that. Another thing to consider is that the calibration of the brands and the models can be slightly different. So you may get a different reading bet between, uh, let's say, two different types of multimeters. Uh, another thing that can actually affect the reading as well is the temperature. So if it's kind of, uh, if, the, if it's cool out and the pickup could read a little bit different than if it was really, really warm out. So depending on your environment, that can have an influence on what the output reading looks like on your multimeter. Now let's get started with our first tech tip, which is measuring the DCR output of your pickups when they're installed in your guitar. first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the total resistance of each one of these pickups separately. So what you want to do is plug in a normal guitar cable and make sure your volume's turned up. And what we're going to do is basically attach these meter probes. One is going to be attached to the sleeve of the jack and the other one is going to be attached to the tip of the jack. It doesn't matter which color you use as long as they're uh, attached properly. The DC resistance is basically telling you what the resistance is for the length of wire being used on that particular pickup. So you can see here we're getting a reading of about 9.62, which is right in the scope of the spec of that bridge pickup. So we're going to check out the rhythm pickup real quick and see what the total resistance is on this pickups. And as you can see there, it's reading 7.3, roughly 7.34. And like I said, mentioned before, the temperature of the pickup can make a difference. So if you live in hot or cold temperature climates, that can affect this reading right here. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at and figure out the total resistance of a four conductor humbucker. And now what we're going to do is combine the white and red wires on a Seymour Duncan pickup. And once we get those connected, what we're going to do is now connect one of the test probes to the black lead wire. And the other test probe is connected to the green wire. Now, it doesn't matter what color the test probes are. As long as you're connected to those wires, you will read the total resistance of the humbucker. <laughs> So now let's take a look at the south coil, which is the screw side of the humbucker. The next thing you want to do is grab your test probes, and it doesn't matter which color test
test probes you use, but you do want to attach one of these to the red lead wire and the other one to the green lead wire. And that'll give you the total resistance of that south coil, which is reading 4.54. And that again is the screw side of the humbucker. So now let's take a look at the north coil of the humbucker. And what we wanna do, just like before, we wanna make sure our multimeter is set to ohms and our range is at 20K. And we again, the color of the test probe doesn't matter. As long as we connect one of them to the white lead wire and the other one to the black lead wire, that will give us the total resistance of that north coil, which is reading at 4.55. Again, that's the slug side of the humbucker. Now we're going to take a look at a strap pickup. This is pretty easy to do. All you have to do is connect one of the probes to the white wire and the other probe to the black wire. And as you can see, we're getting a reading of roughly 9.92, which is right within the factory specs of this particular model. Another easy thing to do with a multimeter is to test a, the value of a potentiometer. It's pretty simple, just like you would on a pickup. What you need to do is set your multimeter to ohms and make sure that the range is something close to what you think the potentiometer is. So if it's 250 or 500, set the range appropriate to what you think the, the, the pot value could be. And the next thing you want to do is take one of the test probes and be connecting these things to um, number three, lug three, and lug one. And that again will give you the total resistance of the potentiometer regardless of where you where you rotate the potentiometer. So if you do want to check the pot, how the pot's working, take lug one and move it over to lug two. And this should give you an idea if it's working correctly. It should go from full resistance all the way to zero. And just to kind of, you can kind of move it back and forth to make sure that it is functioning correctly. But this is how you test the value of your potentiometer. You can also use a multimeter to measure the resistance of a resistor. So sometimes these things can be kind of small and it can be tough to see the color codes on there. And this is a real quick and easy way to measure the resistance. All you have to do is attach one of the probes to one side and the other probe to the other side, and you will get the total resistance of this resistor. A great use of the multimeter is to check the grounding in our guitar. So some meters are, are equipped with a continuity setting. And this usually will beep or have a constant buzzing sound when the continuity is found. So what you want to do is attach one of the probes to either the bridge or the string. We recommend the bridge. And the other probe, you can go in and start touching any point in the wiring that should be connected to the ground and or, in this case, the bridge. So as you can see, you're kind of going around checking different spots here. The back of the pot is a good place to start. And just make sure that you're getting the right ground sections of the guitar and it will properly beep if it is um, if continuity is found you can even check the output of your jack and things like that so this is a great way to make sure that everything is properly grounded <laughs>